I was involved with a group at the city of Los Angeles called LA City Employees Chicano Association, La Seca. And at the time, there was a, an effort on the East Coast to increase the number of minorities in engineering. As one of the only handful of Hispanic engineers during the 1973 tech boom, he could easily have gone to a promising career in the sciences. But when he saw a wrong, he set out to right that wrong. And so I, I came to a conclusion that, you know, we really need to do our own thing rather than complain. Let's do something. The difficulty really was not growing or establishing. It was funny because everything kind of just fell in place. But the difficulty was, it was hard work. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of hours. I could tell that his fearless leadership drove SHIP to reach 13,000 members across more than 200 chapters nationwide. The American dream endures because of leaders like Rod Garcia. And I even think further, further than that, because I always felt that what we're doing, we're doing for the nation, okay? Because basically, you know, we're a fairly large demographic in the United States, and whatever we do to benefit our community is benefiting the nation. Rod's life and legacy is a reminder to all of us to pay it forward. It's a testament to Rod's dedication that 50 years after he found the ship in his garage, the organization remains a strong presence for thousands and thousands of students across the nation. So I and we mourn his passing. We honor his legacy and remain committed to his steadfast, unifying spirit. Rest in peace, hermano, y gracias por su visión. We're engineers, and what do we? What can we give? So we'll give back by being, you know, being role models and trying to get other people to become engineers, and and that'll be a good economic basis for, for future generations. We thought, in my opinion, success is a is, is something that people have attained, what they want to accomplish. That's success, whatever that may be. Every time I go to conferences, I always meet somebody, some student or professional that tells me, their story. I said. You know, this is what it's done for me. Somebody asked me if I have a memory of Rod, and, and I don't have that one memory that stands out. To me, it was how Rod made me feel. Every time I saw Rod, Rod just made me feel like he had my back. And I think that's the theme throughout, is that Rod had all of our backs. He paved the way so that we could stand on his shoulders, because he had our backs.